Good morning, traders. George Troop here with another market update for you. Uh, European markets have just opened uh, with a slightly gently positive start, shall we say. I've got my DAX chart open here. You can see it's up around 0.3% for the day. Very muted week, as you can see. It's been hovering around that 15,200 mark um, pretty much the whole time. Um, so not much going on, really keeping an eye on data outputs coming out this week and corporate earnings, it would seem, following huge gains on most of the major indices last week. A little bit more relaxed this week. I've got the FTSE here. You can see there's been some more movement there, another slightly positive opening today, um, inching towards that 7,000 mark um, where it hasn't been since around last March, around the time of the big coronavirus initial drop um, but it does seem to be inching back towards there uh, in terms of more generalized trends um, as i say we are looking towards another day of data and corporate earnings uh, investors in europe will be monitoring a host of march inflation data uh, germany france and italy all reporting over the next few hours um, going back to the dax we did have Germany's overall non-harmonized consumer price index came in at 0.5% on a monthly basis and 1.7% year on year. Uh, you can always check these figures in your financial commentary section of your website. You can see they get posted there as they come out immediately, uh, which is really handy uh, for just keeping an eye. So that gives us some notion as to this positive open for the DAX today. Uh, we've got L'Oreal set to report first quarter earnings later after the bell. Uh, Deliveroo, interesting one, after they've gone public, they're releasing their first quarter trading update. Um, Shell as well, oil major set to publish its annual environment, social and governance update. So a few things to look forward to on the European front. If we have a quick look um, at the US, it was another positive day in the end yesterday, um, a bit mixed if we were to look close, more closely, um, but it did finish slightly up in the end um, and futures are looking positive. We'll be back this afternoon um, to take a more detailed look. S&P uh, pulled back from some all time highs. It sort of nicked over that 14,000 mark very briefly and then pulled back afterwards uh, we had some very strong reportings from banks yesterday um, JP Morgan Goldman Sachs we'll have some more later say Bank of America City and PepsiCo all reporting let's have a quick look at bonds um, the US 10-year Treasury yield was hovering um, around 1.6325 percent this morning um, and that will be keeping a close eye on weekly jobless claims. Uh, you can see the price of this, these T-note futures um, down slightly, as you can see. Um, but yeah, we'll keep it. We're keeping a close eye on those jobless claims, uh, as well as March retail sales data stateside. Um, so lot, really, lots of data from Europe and the US later today, uh, hoping to get some clues on the real trajectory of the country's economic recovery. Um, let's jump into commodities. You can see a uh, pretty green open today. Gold is a little bit flat. Um, uh, natural gas, sorry, excuse me. Um, gold is a little bit flat, but it's slightly more positive today. Um, Oil as well had a bit of a bounce on some numbers yesterday. You can see uh, approaching that $67 mark uh, for Brent. Crude similarly up approaching 64. Um, also, we did have the big unveiling yesterday, the big IPO Coinbase. Um, let's have a quick look. At, there's not much to see on this chart in the daily because, of course, only been a day, but we can see it did jump up. It opened at around um, opened around three twenty eight dollars. I've seen um, and jumped up to just over touching 
4.30 in the initial trading, uh, right after its IPO yesterday afternoon. Pulled back quite a lot afterwards, um, but did level out around the 3.30 mark. You can see that seems to be where it's holding now. The reference price, of course, was $250. Um, so a great deal better than initially expected. Initial market cap of 85.8 billion dollars uh, so this direct market listing uh, is really really huge uh, close the day with a market cap of around 62 billion dollars um, and it'll be interesting to keep an eye on this chart there's huge levels of interest of course in the cryptocurrency exchange because if we have a look at cryptos themselves um, let me just pop back to the daily chart you can see Bitcoin did pull back yesterday, but it did go past more all-time highs, 64,000. Um, can it continue its run? It'll be fascinating to see. Um, can it get any higher? We'll keep you posted, of course. Thanks very much. I'll be back with all that data. Keep an eye on this box in the bottom left-hand corner. Um, and we'll be back for the US opening this afternoon. Have a great morning. Thanks.